Warning, the following video may contain spoilers. Spoilers that may make you very, very angry. If you don't want to be very, very angry, we highly suggest that you watch something else. We hadn't helped Corvo get out of prison. Corvo hadn't been so damn good at his job. We hadn't gotten greedy, afraid. If. Always too sure that I would be wrong. Never hesitated. Too sure of what I wanted. Too sure of what I wanted. What did you do when other men stopped to consider? Saw it as a weakness. I know Corvo's coming for me just like he came for the others. Crossing the island below like it was nothing. It's only a question of how and when. I'm lacking a counter move. It's all fallen apart. All the steps that led us here made sense. When I was young, I went to sea, took command of a ship, and made it. Who is that? 
that, Admiral Havelock? If you don't let me out, I'm going to make you stand in a corner until you learn how to behave. Corvo! I knew you'd come. Is it going to be okay now? Will I be Empress? So ends the Interregnum, and now Emily Caldwin I will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. You watched and listened when other men would have shouted in rage. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age brought about by your hand. And decades hence, when your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb, because you are more to her than royal protector. Farewell, Corvo. Oh, for all of the big and the small, where the taller they stand, where the harder they fall. We live for today, but we die for the next.